What we're going to be going over here is solving a cost volume profit problem here in terms of dollars. And we're going to be solving for some targeted net income either before taxes or net income here after taxes in terms of dollars. But we're going to be doing it based on the margin of safety here. We're going to see how the margin of safety here is going to fit into the net income here that we're going to be looking at before and after taxes. And really the margin of safety equals the sales dollars above or the sales dollars here below some break-even point. So we're going to be concentrating on this margin of safety and see how we can uh, determine our net income here before and after taxes based on a margin of safety. Okay, so we're going to go through a generalized solution here using some algebraic equations here. But before we get into that, let's go and let's look at our reference key here. So. Uh, for our reference key, what we're going to be using in our equations here, P is going to equal the unit sales price, X, the number of units that we're selling. This is quantity on a per unit basis here, the quantity here for P. And then V here is going to equal the unit variable cost, again, on a per unit basis here. TFC, and I've got everything sort of color-coded here, equals our total fixed cost. TVC would be the total variable cost. TR or S here would represent our total revenue or total sales here. And then TC would be the total cost, the fixed plus the variable cost. TCM would be the, like the total contribution margin. And then CR, CMR here is equal our contribution margin ratio, and we're going to be concentrating on that here. And then MS is going to equal that margin of safety that we're going to be looking at in terms of dollars here. And then T is our tax rate, net income here before taxes, is shown here in blue. Net income here and after taxes, those are again our net income here after taxes. Okay, so let's go look at our solution here. So what we're going to be looking at here with the, we're going to start out with the cost volume profit, the basic concept here. This is where our total revenues equals our total cost plus whatever profit we're targeting here. So uh, our total revenue here I'm showing equals our total cost here plus our net income here before taxes. We'd have some targeted amount there. So then our total revenue here equals our total fixed cost plus our total variable cost, because that would be our, a, a total cost here, plus net income here before taxes. And then if we rearrange the equation here, we take our total revenue, less move our total variable cost over this side of the equation. We're gonna come up with total revenue, less or minus our total variable cost equals our total fixed cost, plus some net income here before taxes. And then our total contribution margin would just be the difference between our total revenue and our total variable cost. And that would equal our the fixed cost here plus some targeted net income here before taxes. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna have to uh, bring this down into dollars terms here. And there's this total variable cost we're gonna look at, we're gonna set up our equation for that here. So. Uh, to, uh, that would be a total variable cost. This is going to be the variable cost ratio. And we're not talking about the variable cost ratio. That's the per unit variable cost here divided by the per unit uh, price here. A price for a single unit divided it or divided into your variable cost for a single unit here. And then we would take that times our sales dollars. Take our variable cost ratio times our sales dollars equals our total variable cost. So here it is. Sales dollars here times our uh, a, a contribution margin ratio here that we're showing here, V divided by P. That equals our total variable cost here. Okay, so we can bring that back over here and we can substitute uh, that amount into uh, for our total variable cost here in the equation. So that would be, again, total variable cost would be the sales times uh, the variable unit price here, a uh, variable cost per unit divided by the price per unit here. So now we can take and we can move this over to this other side of the equation here. So we have our sales minus our contribution margin ratio that I've set up here. That's going to equal our total fixed cost plus our net income here before taxes. Now we can factor out S here, our sales from our contribution margin ratio. So factoring our S out here, all we have is our contribution margin ratio, which I'm defined here as one minus the V divided by P, variable cost per unit divided by the price per unit, times S here, we factored S out here. Okay, so that equals our total fixed cost plus our net income here before taxes. So if we're looking at uh, targeted a break even point here, all you do is set your net income here before taxes equal to zero. And you could solve for your break even point in terms of our solution so far here. Okay, 
So what we're going to do here, we've worked all the way down here and we're going to look at this margin of safety, how it, how it fits into our equation here. So uh, this, let's look at it. The one minus V here, that's our contribution margin ratio that we're going to, that's where we divide it as our contribution margin ratio times S here equals our total fixed cost plus our net income here before taxes. And again, this contribution margin ratio, I'm showing it here. That again is what we defined here is one minus the unit variable cost divided by the unit price here. That's a contribution margin ratio. Got that figured in here. Okay, so now this net income here before taxes, really what we're talking about, the whole key to this problem is that the net income here before taxes is going to equal our margin of safety here times the contribution, uh, uh, contribution margin ratio here. And what we're talking about the margins of safety, that's really your uh, total sales dollars that you're looking at, uh, difference between your sold, total sales dollars and the break-even sales dollars. So the margin of safety is just the difference between your total sales and whatever break-even sales you point you've calculated here. Okay, so all we're doing here is we're just taking, uh, defining our net income here before taxes as our margin of safety times our contribution margin here. So we put that in, substitute that into our equation here for our net income here before taxes. And then that just equals our, what I've shown here. So we can move this margin of safety and contribution margin over to this other side of the equation here. And then we can uh, factor out the contribution margin from after we've moved that over here. And that would be our sales uh, less our margin of safety, just the difference between our total sales here and our margin of safety times the contribution margin ratio equals our total fixed cost here. Okay, just showing, we worked our way down here in terms of dollars just to see uh, with these different variables how we can uh, determine really our net income here before taxes. Really what we're looking at here, given, given some net income here, either net income here before taxes or net income here after taxes, we can Knowing the margin of safety, we can calculate whatever net income before taxes we'd have, just taking our margin of safety times our contribution margin ratio here. And that's going to give you your net income here before taxes. I've just worked it down here. Knowing any one or two, uh, you can solve for any of these variables here. But the idea is here, all we wanted to really point out here is we can determine the net income here before taxes if we know our margin of safety and if we know our contribution margin ratio here. And again, margin of safety is just the difference between our sales, total sales here, and our break-even sales here. Okay. All right. And now if we further go over here and we look at it in terms of a net income here after taxes, that would be just taking one minus our tax rate times the net income here before taxes. So we can uh, solve for our net income here after taxes if we know our margin of safety here times our contribution margin ratio times the difference between one minus the tax rate here. Okay, so that's our general solution here for solving for net income here before taxes, net income here after taxes, knowing our margin of safety. Or we, we could have to determine our margin of safety knowing our other quantities here. Just set up our algebraic solutions here. So if you have to determine one or the other, you can go ahead and do that. Knowing your margin of safety, determining your margin of safety, you'd have to know your net income here before taxes and this contribution margin ratio here. And then, so that's how you would really handle these different problems. I just wanted to point that out here. How you could determine either net income here before taxes or net income here after taxes based on the margin of safety. Okay, so again, margin of safety equals our total sales here less our break-even sales here. And we calculated that break-even sales based on our contribution margin here times our sales that we looked at. Well, let's go back and look at that. That was our break-even point here uh, would have been setting our net income here uh, before taxes equal to zero, uh, zero here, and then you would just have to solve for your sales here. You'd have to know the different factors here, nonetheless. So that would just setting net income here before uh, before taxes equal to zero, knowing your total fixed cost and your other variables, you can determine the sales amount that you have to sell for. Okay, that's all we're pointing out here.
Okay, so back to our deal here. So in conclusion here, uh, sales dollars, if they're greater than the break-even dollars, our margin of safety is a positive amount. If our sales dollars here, total sales dollars is less than the break-even uh, sales dollars here, our margin of safety would be negative here. And then after the, and this, it's based on this here. So after the total fixed cost have been covered, additional contribution margin represents the before tax profit here. And before the total fixed costs here have been covered, the actual, actual additional contribution, uh, need, it represents the additional contribution that's needed here uh, before any tax loss here. So that's how you're looking at that margin of safety here based on that break even point that we're looking at. And then finally, if we just go over here and look at our cost volume profit graph, just to get a basic understanding of what we're going on here, we got our units or our quantities along our x-axis here, and then our dollar amounts shown along our y-axis. So we would have our total fixed cost shown here. And then built on that, we'd have some variable cost here, variable unit cost times some quantity here. So our total fixed cost, our total cost is our total variable cost here, plus our total fixed cost. And then our revenues line here would be some unit price here. Unit revenues line is this green one sloping up. Our, to our total cost line was this blue one. So our total revenue line would be some unit price here times some quantity. That's going to equal uh, our total revenues here, P times X. And then just looking at our those lines, that net income here before taxes, I'm showing that here as blue. That net income here before taxes equals uh, negative total fixed cost plus the contribution margin ratio times some sales amount. Or you can look at it in the terms here that we're, we're looking at in our problem here, margin of safety. Net income here before tax equals a margin of safety times that contribution margin ratio. So you can de determine your net income here before tax if you know your margin of safety here and your contribution margin. And then for a net income here after taxes, I'm showing that as the net income before taxes was this blue line. Net income here after taxes, green dotted line here. And that's just one minus our tax rate times the quantity here of a negative minus your total fixed cost here plus the contribution margin times your sales, that quantity. Or you can look at it in these terms, that margin of safety that we have here times the contribution margin times one minus the tax rate. Okay. So that's about it for our cost, volume, profit uh, problem here. Uh, looking at it, our net income here before taxes and net income here after taxes uh, based on that margin of safety here and also the contribution margin ratio here. Okay, so that'll end our, that'll end our discussion here on that margin of safety and how we use it to determine net income here before taxes and net income here after taxes. All right, just for a follow-up here for this margin of safety here. When we're talking about the margin of safety here, looking at on our, our cost, volume, profit graph here, first we have to look at our break-even point here. So we have to determine our break-even uh, point here in terms of dollar amounts here. So that's really where our, our total revenues here equals our total cost at some break-even point here. Anything below that break-even point here, we'd be running at a loss anything above the break-even point here be running at a profit here. So when we talk about the break-even point, this margin of safety is at our break-even point. And if we look at it in terms of net income here before and after taxes, the break-even point here is when our unit, our dollar amounts here equals zero here. So at some point here, our net income here before, our net income here after taxes is unique to this break-even point here on our graph here. So for the margin of safety at this break-even point, anything below the break-even point, we're going to have a negative margin of safety here. Anything above this break-even point, we're going to have a positive margin of safety here. So that's what we're talking about in margin of safety here in terms of dollars. It's a dollar amount here. And you have to first determine your break-even points here. And then knowing those break-even points, you can do uh, your margin of safety here. You can look at it. If you have a negative amount here, that's just telling you you're going to have to, uh, your safety margin is below the break-even point here where you're not generating any profit. If your uh, margin of safety here is a plus amount here, that's the amount above uh, your break-even point here. And, and if you look at your net income here and net, net income before and after taxes, 
you have, this is really the profit that you're looking at here, that, those profit lines. So anything above your break-even point, you're generating a profit. Anything below your break-even point, you're generating a loss. So that margin of safety is this, just the quantity here, the difference between whatever sales you have here and that break-even point here. And that's what you're looking at. The, the margin of safety is the difference here between your total sales that you're looking at here versus the break-even sales here, whatever that is. So that's how you'd calculate it here, just looking at it in terms of, in terms of our cost-volume-profit graph.